In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the property we studied in the previous video, that is property number 2. That means the value of the determinant changes if the rows and the columns of a determinant are interchanged. We have a problem, it is verify about property, that means the property number 2. For this determinant, the name of the determinant is B. Let's get started. We are having three rows and three columns. This is your R1, R2, R3. I will be taking into consideration the interchange and the interchange that I am going into consideration is R1 with R2. You can interchange any row or any column. This is basically a practice problem. So we are interchanging any two rows. That means we are taking into consideration R1 and R2, right? So let's start. We put the heading as proof and what we see is we have R1 and R2. First of all, you have to evaluate del B. That del B that I'm taking, I'm taking it as del sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand along the first row, R1, right? If you expand along R1, what you see is that you have firstly 2. So you write here 2. And then you ignore something. You ignore the first column. You ignore the first row. You have what? You have 0, 0, 1, 2. Then is 3. Now it follows as plus, minus, plus. You know till now. So it is minus 3. You have to again ignore something. You ignore the second column. You ignore the first row. You have what? You have 8, 0, 5, 2. Last but not the least, you have plus 0 and a subdeterminant. Now 0 into something is 0 only. Just ignore that. Don't write it. Now you have 2 outside and what you have is, let's see, you are basically cross multiplying. 0, 2 is 0, 0, 1 is 0. So 2 into 0. Minus 3 into what? 3 into what is important? Cross multiply, cross multiply. 8 twos are makes it 16. Minus 5 zeros is 0. Doesn't matter. 2 zeros are 0. Don't take into consideration. Minus 16 threes are 48. So the answer is minus 48. Till here at least. Now the purpose was what? To verify the property. So first now to verify the property, let's change the determinant by interchanging row 1 and row 2. So what I have is now the second part of this question or the problem. It is a new determinant that I have to take into consideration and I have to evaluate it. Let's name it as B dash and let's name this as del dash. Now it is what? It is such that the rows are interchanged. 800 0, 0 is my first row. 230 0 is my second row. What is not changed? The third row. It is 512. Now, what do we need to do? We need to basically expand this and evaluate this. Earlier we did along row 1. Now you can do it along anything. Let's evaluate and expand along the row 2. Anything can be done, doesn't change. Expand along row 2, suppose. Right, what happens? See, it is 2, 3, 0. 2 is what kind of element? 2 is element which is second row and first column. So 2 plus 1 makes it 3 and which is odd. So it is minus and it is plus and it is minus. That you get it, right? So minus 2 you place here and what you do is you basically eliminate the first column and the second row. So it is 8, 0, 5, 2. 8, 0, 5, 2. After that you have plus 3. You write plus 3 and again you have a subdeterminant. So plus 3 is in the second row, second column. You eliminate the second row, you eliminate the second column. What you get is 8, 0, 5, 2. Now, what is to be done? Just cross multiplication. That's it. Let's check again. Have we mistaken something? I guess we have. It is minus 2 here. You have to eliminate the first column and the second row. So it is 0, 0, 1, 2 that you need to write. So let's write it as 0, 0, 1, 2. 0, 0, 1, 2 is that what we need to write. Now if it is 0, 0, 1, 2, it is on purpose that some things will get cancelled out. Let's see how. Minus 2 is outside. Now 0, 2 is 0, 0, 1 is 0. So it is into 0. Plus 3 is the next thing. 8, 2 is 16 minus 0. So it is 16. And now what happens is C. 2 zeros are is 0. 16 threes are is 48. So it is 0 plus 48. So it is 48 as the answer that you are getting. 
what is the answer that you are getting? You are basically getting the answer as 4848. And here what you were getting? You were getting minus 48. So you see that the thing I told you earlier that whenever the rows and columns are interchanged, you see that there is a change and the change is only in the sign. Otherwise, there is no change. So if one answer you know and you know the property and you know the other question, no need to solve it. Just write the change in sign as the answer. That's it. So hence, we verify the property number two, which says that the two rows or columns, if interchanged, do not change or change. Yes, they change the value of the determinant.